My name is Dmitry. I'm director of maintenance at Portofino Island Resort on uh, Pensacola Beach, Florida. And uh, my, uh, my job is basically uh, to run the maintenance department and uh, take care of our facilities at Portofino Island Resort. Uh, what I do is my typical day, I come in about 6.45, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, first, we sit down with all the employees in my department and we go through uh, the information, what they need to know for the day. Then we uh, assign the tasks to every employee. Since every morning I walk the property, uh, I check the key equipment, uh, pool, uh, safety equipment, uh, I, che I check the lights, uh, basically do a visual inspection of the property, uh, which is uh, 28 acres of land, uh, five 21-story towers, um, full-scale uh, fitness facility, restaurant, uh, eight pools, eight hot tubs, and uh, everything else which goes with that. Uh, th that inspection takes me about an hour to hour and a half. Uh, after that, uh, I normally meet with vendors. Uh, the vendors do projects for us, uh, so I meet with them, follow up on the projects. Um, sometimes that routine changes if we have emergencies or a piece of equipment goes down, uh, I have to uh, I have to address that issue. Uh, sometimes we have special requests from other departments or from upper management that I have to address. Uh, but basically, uh, that takes me to about lunchtime. Uh, after lunch, I do my follow-up with employees and see where they are on the projects. Uh, sometimes I would walk the property again. Uh, sometimes I would uh, just visit certain projects and see how they're doing. Uh, and uh, the rest of the day, I uh, try to do financials. I'm responsible for financials uh, for the department, uh, payroll, uh, uh, accounts payable, uh, purchasing, ordering. Uh, so I do that in the second half of the day. Again, uh, pending emergencies, pending meetings, uh, things like that. Uh, finally, at the end of the day, I meet with uh, evening shift uh, because my department operates from uh, 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. So I meet with evening shift and uh, I follow up and uh, make sure they know what they're doing. And that's about how my day goes. Regarding uh, the education that uh, I would recommend for a position like mine, uh, it's probably would be good to have at least a four-year degree in, uh, in some kind of technical field, either electrical engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, uh, or, uh, or science, you know, physics, mathematics. Uh, but uh, since this is a major resort, and uh, all the aspects of this position include not only technical stuff, uh, not only construction stuff, not only maintenance items, but also dealing with financials, dealing with human resources, and dealing with uh, customers hands-on, uh, I believe that a four-year degree uh, from a university uh, would fit better for this position and will give a broader uh, understanding and ability to, to basically run a department like this. A uh, type of equipment we have at this resort uh, is uh, uh, comparable to an to industrial plant or, uh, or, or a small city actually. A lot of times uh, uh, my position also requires uh, hands-on work. Uh, when something goes down, I'm the only one to fix it. Uh, so I would also recommend uh, at least five to seven years experience in the maintenance field, hands-on, basically fixing things, uh, repairing things. Uh, so it would be also good uh, in addition to, uh, to actual four-year degrees, a hands-on experience in the field. I think the best part of this job is um, to, uh, to be here and to see everything running smoothly. Uh, our property is like a small city, and uh, we have a lot of people here, we have a lot of guests, a lot of homeowners, a lot of customers. And my job is to keep facilities operating properly and delivering the product to the customers. Uh, so the best, uh, uh, the, the biggest pleasure I receive from this job is when I see everything is operating correctly and equipment is working and the customers are happy because my equipment is working. Uh, that's ultimately what we're here for, is to serve the customer, and that's what makes me happy. Uh, the challenging part of this job is uh, that you really uh, have to be on call 24-7. Uh, your day's off, 
no days off, it doesn't matter. Uh, the working hours are not limited. It, it is definitely not eight to five job. Uh, you don't know when you're gonna go home uh, every day. Uh, something may happen as you pull off the property and you turn around and you come back. Um, again, uh, you may be on vacation and you get that phone call that a major piece of equipment went down and you're the only one who knows how to fix it, so you have to come in. So uh, that's, that's a challenging part of this position, that being responsible for everything, uh, all the facilities here. Uh, my advice for uh, somebody who is looking uh, at the position like this is, uh, if you're in college, university, and you're taking, taking technical courses, working on your engineering or science degree, uh, it's good. But uh, consider taking some uh, management classes, uh, some uh, HR classes uh, for human resource management. Even if they're not required by your degree, if you're considering to be in this field, uh, it's important for you to understand and to know, know those items. Uh, conversely, if uh, contrary, if, uh, if you are in hospitality management program, and uh, you want to be in the, in the maintenance department, uh, take some classes with electrical engineering, uh, physics, uh, mathematics. Uh, those classes are normally not required for hospitality degrees, but uh, again, it'll broaden knowledge and it'll help you understand the mechanics and help you understand how things work, which is a big part of this job. Uh, Hands-on experience, uh, uh, what I did in college, I, I advise everybody else to do is to take a summer job or take part-time job as a maintenance person uh, in, a, in a facilities ma maintenance, uh, in, a, in a hosp hospitality maintenance, but a, a hands-on maintenance job, even if it's just a cleaning job uh, or a pool maintenance job, will give a lot of experience 